guys, it's Amy the Common Sense Cook. Sorry I've been missing for a while. I wanted to kind of update you guys on my life, what's been going on and where we're going because, believe it or not, 2016 is just around the corner. So I've been really absent from my blog. I've been really absent from YouTube. And there's so many different reasons and I'm going to kind of outline a few. Um, so as a lot of my personal friends and family know, um, my husband went to the Arkansas Law Enforcement Training Academy and he was gone for three, 13 weeks to be exact. And you know, that was a tough time, you know, having to take care of three kids, school, when things are due, helping them with their reading, you know, they're in kindergarten pre-K, so they don't have a lot of homework, but um, you know, doing all the grocery shopping, doing all the cooking, it was pretty overwhelming. and. Um, I was also going through some health struggles at the time, which I talked about during my walking vlog. Um, you know, I'm now on some new supplements and starting to get things in order, but it's like I'm, I'm slowly trying to put the puzzle pieces together. Um, of course, Christmas is coming up. I've been trying to do a project for my, um, for a lot of my family that's not going to get done. I'm going to just have to deal with it. Um, you know, I've been trying to work on some holiday vlogs for some holiday recipes, and I'm making a few of those up before the end of December, which might not help you before Christmas. As I was saying, sorry, supper is actually done, and I was trying to get this done. While those gummies, um, I have a gummy recipe that should be coming up either with this or after this. I'm trying to film a couple things together. You may notice I'll be wearing the same shirt in a couple videos. And you may notice it is a tank top. My window is open. No, I didn't move to the beach. I wish I did. But uh, it's actually like 70 something degrees in my house because there have been horrible storms. Um, I'm kind of okay with it because I hate the cold. But um, the unfortunate of that is there has been a tornado outbreak kind of in Mississippi area and other places have been kind of following it throughout the day and my heart really goes out to all of those people, um, anybody that was affected by it. Um, if anybody really understands what you're going through, it's me and my heart really goes out to you and um, if you need any support, feel free to leave a message in the comments. Um, now back to what I was saying about my life. <laughs> so I started some new supplements. Um, I started taking HCL which was to help improve my digestion. I also took a course of antivirals. And then I realized that I still wasn't doing that well and I was having a lot of problems with my cycle. I talked about this more in my walking vlog, so I won't go into it again for our male listeners. Um, and I was on New Passant and my life has changed. It's gone from like here to here. It's been absolutely amazing. I've gone from mildly, I wouldn't say I was sedentary. I did get up and do things. I would go shopping for my groceries and stuff like that. I'd run around and get the kids. But for the most part, I was basically nearly sedentary. I was probably about as close to sedentary as you can get without being sedentary. And now I'm walking two to four miles a day. It just depends on the day. I've kind of been going back and forth trying not to overdo it. I have the worst habit of going too far. So I would be the kind of person that would walk a 5K every day for a week and then absolutely burn out and then not do it again for six months. Well, for the last six weeks, I haven't done any this week because I have my kids at home for vacation, but I actually kind of worked my way up. I started about doing a mile, a mile and a half, and then I figured out if I went further, because, you know, you got to figure out your ways of walking around your house. Um, I figured out the path to do around 2.2 miles, um, and that's my short one now. My short one's not a mile, my short one's 2.2. And I mean, hey, I'm pretty proud of that. Now, that's what I do most days, but I kind of try to do like a switcheroo. So if Monday I do 2.2, on the next day, on Tuesday, I will try to do 3.1. And I've actually done 3.1 and I've actually successfully done 4.2 in a day. And it's pretty exciting for me because I've actually seen a lot of improvement. Um, I'm actually getting other people they usually say it takes a long time for other people to be able to see improvement in your physique. Um, I'm having clothes that didn't fit that are now fitting. Um, and I feel a lot better. The only crazy thing is the new medicine that I was on, the factory has run out and I'm having to kind of supplement and try to get until I can find some more. That kind of sucks. But I'm hanging in there and I'm hopeful and I know that things can get better as long as I get that medicine in. 
Um, you know, medicine does not have to be failure. Supplements do not have to be failure. Um, I probably take more supplements and things like that than most sick people. And the thing is, is it keeps me going. It keeps me being able to do for my family. It's gotten me through the last three months of hell not having my husband here. But I'm so proud of him. Uh, he graduated and he was 12th in his class out of 101. And tonight he's actually um, on his second night back. And I'm really excited for him. And I know he's glad to get to this place. He's worked really hard to get to this place. And um, I think now that some of those things are done, you know, husband's going to be gone for three months, check. Christmas is about to be done, check. Thanksgiving, thankfully, is already, <laughs> is already gone because those are my big cooking things. Those are things that I fixate on because they're like my Super Bowl of cooking. Um, I want to go somewhere in 2016. I want to expand my blog, my YouTube channel. I want to get the message out there that there's no wrong way to cook except for to not cook at all because that's what I really believe and I really just want people to know. Start simple. It doesn't have to be hard. These things do not have to be hard. Life is hard enough as it is. You can see I have done plenty of dishes tonight trying to prepare for this so y'all don't have to see my messy kitchen. Things seem to have improved in my life greatly and my first step was going without soda. And January 7th or January 5th? January 7th will be two years since I went without soda. And if you know where my other channel is, and maybe I'll link it below, I can show you some of the first days. No, sir. No, sir. The first few days that I had been through going without soda, it was so tough. And, you know, it was really the first step. Then I discovered paleo in March. Had a hard time while we, you know, we're dealing with the tornado. Came home to this home and was able to dedicate myself to paleo. Last January, went AIP. I still have a lot of things that I can't deal with with AIP. I can't do pecans, nightshades, um, chocolate. I have finally had to completely shut down chocolate um, because I went about two months. Here's the thing, if you wonder if you're sensitive to it, leave it out for about two months and then try it. If you have a reaction, you're sensitive, you need to cut it out for a while. With me, um, I, I know it's not the chocolate. There are good benefits to chocolate, but for me it's the caffeine and it so negatively affects me. The next day I got a migraine instantly and I was down. And I hadn't had one in a really long time. And I was so, I was like, it's the chocolate. Because I didn't even realize it, but the next day I had some more. It was that girl time. Okay, guys, it was the girl time. I wanted me some chocolate, and I gave in, and then the next day I had a little more, and my headache went away like that. Here comes the epiphany right with it, that holy cow. And, you know, my husband's like, well, why don't you just step yourself down? Mm -mm. I'm not one of those people that can step myself down. I will stay hooked. And caffeine, for my body at least, is a drug, and I will never put that drug in my body as long as I can help it, you know, things slip, you know, you accidentally, you know, eat a cookie and they're like, oh yeah, it's, it's fine, it's paleo. And then you realize a few minutes later they use cacao powder or something like that. Things happen, you know, mistakes happen. But for the most part, I want to, you know, consciously keep it out. Um, my kids are doing great, um, except for the fact that my youngest had a reaction to peanuts, but thankfully we know what it is and we can take care of it. Oh, this baby. We were playing Dirty Santa um, with my husband's family, and I fought so hard about this, and me and my husband strategized to make sure we could keep it. I have a cast iron skillet. I'm so excited about this. I haven't seasoned it yet. I have, um, I have checked with my paleo group to make sure that I can use it with a glass stove. Got lots of great advice. And if any of you ladies are watching, thank you so, 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 so much for all your love and support through that because I didn't have a clue. Um, also, I kind of want to talk about a couple things. Um, I've been having some issues with my hair. I actually ended up breaking out. <laughs> my hair doesn't look great today because it's hot, but my, uh, my scalp ended up breaking out and it was so itchy and frustrating. And it was because I started using regular shampoo again. And I used my husband's shampoo. And it started breaking my head out too. I'm like, why? I mean, I go through enough complicated things as it is with my food. 
why is this happening with my shampoo? And I don't have the bottle to share with you, but it's Avalon Organics. And I've only used it a couple times, but it's absolutely amazing. It actually gets my hair clean. It doesn't get really sudsy or anything like that, but I had a, a family member actually suggest might be allergic to the sulfates. And I actually had the hairdresser that just did my hair confirm the same thing. And so I'll show off my hair. I, I may put a photo on the end of my new haircut, but also I wanted to show you a couple other products that I have been using and actually liking. Now I do not have any affiliate links. So those trays that I show in the gummy video, you know, they're not affiliated. They're on Amazon. Um, and I'm not affiliated by anybody. Maybe one day we'll get there. Um, but this is four monks clean vinegar, a citrus mint scent. Now I don't really smell the citrus mint, but it's not very offensive, the vinegar. And you can see how much I've already gone through and I've had this a few months. I found this at Walmart by the big things of vinegar. Just, you know, a couple shelves down. Sometimes you gotta look high, you gotta look low. Well, this one was kind of low. And I've done my mirrors, I've done my cabinets, I've done my table. I actually really like this and I'll definitely be buying it again. And that's all it is. And I, I, I'm not fully chemical free in my house, but I'm trying to work my way there. We got donated a lot of stuff out through the tornado and I hate to just throw it away. So I'm kind of just, you know, processing it out and just using what we have. And, um, but the next one was a liquid dish soap. Now I didn't even know I could do this. I had seen it, but it still had a lot of the same chemicals until I found this one, which is Simple Truth. Now, if you have a Kroger near you, Simple Truth is their brand. They're more, um, they're kind of healthier living brand. Um, and this is liquid dish soap and it's lemon verbana. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. But the list of ingredients, I don't know if you guys can see that, was so much shorter than like the method or the seventh generation. And I mean, I'm looking for as little ingredients as possible. Now this actually works pretty good. I did all those dishes and it did great. I think I'm gonna go through it pretty quickly. Oh, hey, look, no animal testing or ingredients. That's pretty great too. That's a positive too. You know, I might not be vegan, um, but I do care. And I really do appreciate products that have not had to harm animals to be able to know that they're okay. Um, or, you know, things like that. And if I do have to use a product that has, you know, had to take an animal's life, I'd prefer that it was well taken care of, that it had a happy life, it was able to eat in its um, natural environment and its natural diet and things like that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty great. It, it says vegan and it's gluten free. Now, some of you might know if you have celiac, have to watch gluten and all sorts of things because it can actually harm you and get through your skin from products like this. So I'm not saying you have to go check all the bottles for gluten, but that's a positive to me. Um, and it works really good and it smells good. It actually smells really good. Yep. I like it. Uh, lemon has actually become one of my favorite scents, along with peppermint. Um, Dr. Bronner's soap and peppermint. I even got my kids addicted to it. <laughs> so, um, but that's about it, guys. Um, that's what's been going on. That's where I've been. Um, I'm going to try to get this uploaded soon. I'm hoping that you have a very Merry Christmas. If you're cooking, keep in mind you need to get that turkey in the fridge. Hopefully, I can get this up by Christmas, but you should do it about two hour, or two days ahead of ahead about 48 hours in advance to make sure that's defrosted in time so hopefully I can get this video up in time um so you know that and that's about it guys I will try to see if I can vlog or something like that during Christmas we'll have fun with it um if you don't celebrate Christmas happy Hanukkah happy Kwanzaa or whatever you celebrate happy holidays um or if it's just gonna be Friday happy Friday I love you guys and I hope you're having a wonderful day and I can't wait for 2016 and the things to come bye guys